Okay, we um, we had a question come in from Darren Townsend uh, on Facebook. He says, what's the best platform for a photography portfolio site? Uh, what do you think about WordPress for a photography portfolio? So I quick note, uh, obviously we uh, have advertisements for Squarespace and Zenfolio periodically on the website. Now those are advertisements. We read those advertisements. I turn down about three times more advertisers than I accept onto the podcast because uh, I want it to be people that uh, companies that we know uh, or that are relevant um, to uh, to the topic. Um, and so I like both Squarespace and Zenfolio. I think they both have um, a place in photography, but there are other options as well. WordPress, Wix, and many others. And so uh, I just want you to know this is not a sponsored segment or anything. This is really just what we think uh, of, uh, of the platform. So let's just do a quick round robin. Uh, how is everybody's photography portfolio set up right now? Nick, what are, what's your uh, portfolio on? I go through Squarespace and I deliver all my images with pass and that's pretty much it. I let my Zenfolio, which I used to deliver uh, images with, and I used to sell prints through that. I let that completely lapse and I've completely done away with Zenfolio. So now I'm just using Squarespace and pass. Okay. Uh, Jeff, what are you using? I am all Zenfolio. So all I, right. I have... So Zenfolio. Yep. And I'm pulling up all you guys' websites as, as you're talking about this for those on the video. Um, and Brian, who are you using? Uh, I use Show It. Right now it, it's updated to Show It 5. Show It's the same, well, started from the same company that also created Pass, which is what I used to <clears throat> to pass the pictures on to the clients. But I, I love Show It because it allows me to, it's like a blank sheet of paper and anything you can think of, you can put it on there and create it. So. Very cool. Uh, and for me, I am using um, Squarespace for my photography portfolio. However, uh, I will add that I have over 20 websites running um, WordPress, uh, like improvephotography.com <laughs> is running WordPress and many of my other blogging businesses. Uh, so uh, that's so I love WordPress. I mean, I love WordPress. I got a lot of websites on it. I've been using it for many years. And so the question is, why would I choose uh, Squarespace for my photography portfolio? Uh, the answer is I used to use uh, WordPress for my photography portfolio, and it was just a pain in the rear. Uh, I'm very competent with WordPress. Um, and the problem is you have to just resize all the images and everything. You've got to do that every time you want to put them up. Um, it, you've got to be updating plugins and dealing with all the spam and the normal things that, that come with uh, WordPress. I think WordPress is a fantastic uh, solution if you're trying to build an empire. I mean, something where you're building a very large website where you expect a large amount of traffic. You're willing to deal with a lot of technological headaches and, and mm -hmm. troubleshooting things and spending a lot of time to do a simple update on your website. But WordPress is powerful. I mean, anything, anything you imagine or you've seen on any other website uh, on the web, you can do it with WordPress. 25% of all websites in the whole world are made with, with WordPress now. Uh, some themes are better than others for sure, uh, but I think WordPress is really the, the best choice if you're building a photography blog where you're trying to really get traffic to a big photography blog and do something interesting. For a simple portfolio, I do not recommend it. It was it was a pain in the neck for me. Nick, I know you were you know WordPress as well. Yeah. Why why did you choose Squarespace? Any other yeah. reason or same thing? For exactly that reason. Like it, the the more difficult a website is to update, the less you're gonna update it. And with photography, like the most important part is keeping your newest photos up. Otherwise, what's the point? Yep. And and Squarespace is just so much simpler. Before Squarespace, I I was using Zenfolio for a short while. And eh, I, I didn't really like it. It just wasn't customizable enough. It's not pretty to me. Zenfolio yeah. is not super pretty, the designs. Exactly. No, I agree. And, then, I agree. and then after that, I was actually using 500px's pro version. Oh, yeah. Where you can actually like host all of your images and stuff. And just I could never customize it enough. Mm -hmm. WordPress, like it is super customizable. And there's, there's so many millions of themes out there that you can always find a theme that's close to what you're thinking. 
but then you have to go in and tweak it and make it yours with Squarespace. There's much fewer themes, um, but the ones that they have just look good and they're simple. And you're like, you know, I can either spend, you know, 20 minutes setting it up and then 20 minutes updating it, or I can spend a week setting it up yep. and then get too lazy to update it later on. Mm-hmm. That's why I like Squarespace. Agreed. Now, Brian, I've got to admit, of I, all you guys have awesome photography websites, but Brian, yours is pretty sweet. I really like yours. I love the your uh, Wanderlust page where you have a map of all the places you've been, and you can click to see the photos you've taken in different places and stuff. It looks slick. So t- tell us about you know how much does this cost? Uh, kind of is it easy to set up all that kind of stuff? Well, honestly, I I have a friend of a friend who was able to. <laughs> that's the easiest way to say. It, you should who was start to, every sentence with that, Brian, because you have a friend of a friend for everything. It's he awesome. does. He does. Brian is the, the most connected man in the world. In the world, he really is. <laughs> let's let's just say I know a guy, and <laughs> uh, I was able to purchase pass every now and then, or not pass, show it. Sorry, they're like brother and sister thing. So show it um, every now and then sells like a lifetime subscription, I Uh guess is the best way to say it. So I have that website. Basically, I I have that program for life. Uh, I don't pay anything for hosting. I paid one chunk in the beginning and it's never going to cost me anything the rest of my life, no matter what I choose to do. That's and awesome. They have they have templates that you can use that you can start with. They do have designers that you can hire. Uh, I just what I love about it is I can make it my own vision. So the f- the first page started a little bit with a template, but the mapping part was just an idea that I had with showing the map of the world and being able to click on you know one of the um, one of the little map drop spots and and see the pictures from there. So creating it in the beginning takes time just because it's with anything you know anything you, when you go to start it it just takes time to get it right and to yeah. get it your way the trickiest thing about it is there's also a mobile version and you've got to like you can create the desktop version but then you have to adapt the mobile version otherwise you're going to have text that just lies in a different spot over the image which is kind of a struggle i have right now so if you go to my like kind words on the phone compared to online on the phone it's kind of blocking their faces so I'm trying to get that updated. There's a way to do it. I'm just, I I don't put the energy into it as much as I probably should, but I spent a lot of hours in the beginning to get it the way I wanted it. So I updating updating it's pretty easy. So I found the the pricing for show it and it looks like it's between 230 and $408 per year. Um, depending on on kind of which package you check, uh, you pick from them. Uh, so it's more expensive, you know, uh, eh, between twenty and thirty dollars a month. But it's not insanely expensive. Uh, you know, we're uh, on on Squarespace. You're going to be paying between eight and fifteen, something like that usually. Uh, so it's more. But if you're you know running a business or something, that's it's a pretty small cost if it's going to make a big difference in in your marketing. So, Jeff, let's talk a little bit about about Zenfolio. Uh, I I mentioned that I don't love the design of the Zenfolio uh, sites, but the functionality of Zenfolio is really tailored for photographers. So what made you pick it? The biggest thing I I, and the reason I stick with it, because I I agree the the templates and and the flexibility, especially since I've got a web development background, I want to go in there and change some stuff and I can't can't do anything. You have to go use choose their templates. I have a mix of panos that i want to show i panorama photos and that's a real challenge if they were all consistently sized that would work a lot better um so i had to pick a template that would at least make that not look terrible <laughs> and uh, so anyway the look of it is, is certainly not uh, i think squarespace definitely has them beat but it's the that's not the main purpose for my site my my main purpose is that's how i deliver my photos so pass is the way that that uh, Nick and Brian are doing it, but this is how I do it. I use the Zenfolio features there. And um, the way I've decided to do my my uh, workflow, I involve the client a lot in deciding which photos it is that they want me to work on. So I go through and I do an initial calling where I reject, you know, obvious, there's no way they care about the picture I took of my shoelace <laughs> or the, the test shot I was taking as I was dialing in the exposure to be exactly how I wanted it. 
I, I know I don't want those. They don't want those. So I take out those, but I give them a small version of it through my Zenfolio sites that they can go see every one of them. And then they can favorite and mark in my Zenfolio site, which ones are their favorites when they hire me, they, uh, they get a certain number of photos that I will go work on and, and post process afterwards. And, uh, so I, I tell them that and then tell them that there's also just additional cost for everyone after that, that you want to have me work on. They can mark them in the site. It can, I can go pull that back and, and, uh, work on the ones that I want, they wanted and then deliver the final results to them through the same site. So that's, that's the part of it that I like the most and why I use it. Okay, let's see if we can uh, come down to to an agreement on on this so that we have a clear recommendation for people. So what I would say um, is choose WordPress if you want to build an empire and you don't mind a lot of uh, a lot of time tweaking and things and troubleshooting and and resizing photos because it doesn't do it automatically for you that kind of thing. Uh, choose show it. Uh, if you want to invest uh, a bit more, it's more expensive, but have something really slick looking. Um, and it sounds like there are, uh, it's a little bit more work to get things properly formatted. Um, choose Squarespace if you want something simple, beautiful, um, not super full featured, but you can still do a lot. And choose Zenfolio if you're, I think especially if you're a portrait photographer or somebody that's working directly with clients uh, because it has that functionality of, you know, uploading a gallery for a client uh, all built in. Somebody can go and just buy a photo directly from the site and yep. have that shipped to them, uh, that kind of thing. What does everybody think of that? Are things that I miss or disagree with? Let yeah. me let me add one thing about with Show It. Uh, when you go to upload your... Uh, or republish it when you go to publish your website, part of it is connected to WordPress. So my blog that I have in there, which don't try to read my blog because I don't know WordPress well and that part's <laughs> WordPress. So it is somewhat connected to WordPress to where when you go to publish it, you, you're doing it through WordPress. Oh, okay. So, so it, it's always been separate. The show at five, before it was a desktop thing, now it's an online thing. So for some reason now, the way they have it done is you finalize it through WordPress. Cool. All right. Well, hey, we have consensus. This is great. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> that's that's kind of our uh, official recommendations, I guess, uh, uh, for photography portfolio. I don't know if there's one that rules. Uh, it just depends on kind of what your situation is and, and which one that uh, that fits you best. 